Hey guys, what's up? NPS Steady here and welcome back to another exciting video. In this video, we are going to create some AI mocap animations. You can record yourself by walking, by doing any move, dancing, and you can feed that data here inside this quick magic AI. It will take a few moments and then it will give you a 3D mocap of that same animation. So let me show you how we can easily create that. So for the test, I created a couple of videos here. So this is Ans, my nephew. He has some experience in martial art and he's doing some great movement. I record that movement into our camera and I will use that here inside this quick magic AI. So once you open this AI, just go to the AI mocap and here is a simple interface. I'm going to use this one because this one looks really nice. You can see and it has some complex movement. So I'll simply drag and drop this clip here and this will analyze that video and you will see a box around the character. And here you will see a two scissor from here. So I can click here so it will, you know, trim that footage from here and then I can come back till here I want. So I will use this one. So this is the frame which I will use to generate the, you know, AI motion capture data. And here is a bunch of format so for the easy going, I'm going to use Mixemo animation because later I will use a character from Mixemo and you know, Mixemo is a free platform where you can upload any 3D character and you can rig it. So this is another advantage like you can download any free models or paid models and you can rig that using Mixamo and then using this mocap, we will, I will let you know to, you know, how you can retarget the same movement there inside Blender. So first I will simply drag and drop it here and here is it loaded. So I will click next and this is motion generating. So here I will choose full body and I will choose hand movement and here you, if you want you can choose the you know first keyframe in T pose or A pose but for this tutorial I will use the original pose and disable this notify by email. Frame rate section, I will use 30 or 24. This physical optimization, I use version 2. Right now, this is in beta version, but I choose this one and it works nice for me. And here you will see how much, you know, points it will take or how much token it will take. And next, you, you just have to click on this generator now. You have to wait a bit and then once it will finish processing, here you have to, you know, you will see a dialogue like video is in line and after a couple of minutes, you will able to see your, you know, motion capture data over here. So I have a couple of videos. Let me quickly open and let me show you. So you can see this is my video and the, here I am doing this movement. You can see this movement is really nice. This leg is a bit, you know, moving weirdly. Otherwise, the rest of the things are nice. I will open Mixamo and once you logged in, you, you can go to the characters and you, you know, you can pick any character which you like. I, I like this one. So I will download this one and there are a bunch of more. You can just download that anyone and I can go to the animation and here just for the fun, I will use the ideal animation and I can use this standing one or maybe like this one and I will simply click on download and just download it. So once it load up, you will see, uh, you know, animation like this here you can see. And uh, if you want to refine this, you can go to the 2D refinement. And here you will notice all the, you know, you know, kind of a rig. If you see any red spot, you can just click and make it green. So in our case, everything is looking really nice. And sometime you can also go to the IK. And this is basically for the leg and here, here you will see if there is a red, it means that is perfectly stable on the ground. But if it is moving or floating in the air, it should be green. So based on that, you will able to see all that, you know, so by default works pretty well for me. So I'm not going to change anything. I'll just return. So I'll simply click download and it will download this. So I'll close this. And I will open Blender. This is the file which I downloaded from the AI, Quick Magic AI. And I will extract this and this delete this. So let me import this first. 
So simply select and drag it here and click import FBX. Okay, so this is the motion capture which I downloaded. And I believe if you want, you can just tweak it, tweak the motion a bit. So let's suppose if you have a different model which is rigged using Mixamo. So I'll import that as well as and just move it aside. So I'll press N and here I'm going to use Rococo Studio Live which is absolutely free. I'll mention the link in my video description. You can go there and download it. And after installing and signing in, you will able to see a section called retargeting. So here the source will be the motion I want to use as a base. And I want to retarget this animation on here. So I will use the target this one. And first I'll click build bone list and I can quickly go and check it. If I will see anything off, I will, you know, quickly fix it. So here if you'll able to see. This is a left shoulder and in the left arm it also detecting the left shoulder. So I will remove this and search left arm and fix it. Same I hope this will be for the right arm, right shoulder. So you can see right shoulder is two time. So here it should be the right arm. So I will pick this and once everything is feel nice, retarget animation and it will take a couple of seconds and boom. This is your, you know, animation here you can see and this is really nice. So this is how you can retarget this. So at this point, if you want to skip the video, you can skip it because the main magic I already explained. But if you want to stay a couple of more minutes, stay here. I will let you know how you can quickly create a sum of amazing things with this AI. I mean this rig here is an issue very weird issue you can see so let's see if we can fix it so i will download a different model maybe and i'll press n and here i'll select this one and click build bone list and just click retarget animation and boom select high resi m new collection hide it and and I believe this is this is pretty much nice and I can use it okay nice so let me quickly create some cubes and I can apply the scale in here I want to add a modifier called bevel three times and just down this amount and then I can use a array modifier generate array and just make it like seven copies into the Z direction and I can apply the bevel and also apply the array modifier. I'll select this cube and move this into a new collection called cube and I'll press tab to go inside the edit mode press A to select everything press F3 and search separate by loose part and just press enter. So now each cube is a different cube I mean individual. So I'll press shift and select all this cube, go to the object, rigid body, add active and if I play you can, you can see this is falling. So I'll create another plane, make it bigger and here in the rigid body I'll use rigid body and just make it passive and if I play you can see here. But let me show you how if he punches it should fall right so if i'll select this and apply a rigid body and make it passive and also check the animated on it will not work because i believe based on this rig this character or this mess is moving but this is originally not moving based on this physics i believe so so that's why there is another alternate way to do the you know simulation so what i will do i'll go here and since this first arm is hitting this cube so i will go to the pose mode let's go a few frames like here select this bone and go to the bone properties and just select here and control c to copy this name and also press shift s cursor to select so our cursor is here Go to the pose mode and go to the object mode and here I will simply create a cube. Just make it small. 
something like this control a and apply the scale and later i will use into the constraint i will use child of and here i will choose the this amateur and in the bone list i'll control v to paste that same bone name but once you did it will disappear so i'll click set inverse and it will come back on its own position and at the same time it will follow the same movements you can see so what i will do next i will select this and apply a rigid body and just make it animated and just make it passive and now if i'll play you will see the magic boom you can see but you can see this is behaving very unnaturally so first i'll apply the scale for this and make sure to apply the scale for this as well as and also i believe i have to go to the set origin and make it origin to geometry so now they are moving very nicely control s and just make it tutorial shift d to duplicate g x and just move it around here this side so let's see this side and around here so g x just move it like this but here he is punching with the second hand so i have to do the same for the second hand enter and set inverse and now you can see boom and boom you can see so let's uh this is pretty much it i'll simply create some lights and it will look nice so here i'm going to go to the board set to make it darker and let's add some spotlight and just move it on top something like this boost the lighting like power thousand watt just move it like this and if i want i can just make the angles a bit and i will also blend it i can also increase the radius a bit and shift d to duplicate the light and i can just you know do some and i can also select i can also select these two boxes and press m move into new collection called punch and i can hide this go to the timeline okay go to the first frame and you can see boom boom <laughs> and for the more accurate motion you can also add some another you know collider for this uh, character body but here i'll go to the scene properties and disable the gravity so now check this magic boom boom you can see <laughs> this is really nice i'll go here and also enable the denoiser and uh, in the scene properties for the final thing, rigid body world and just make it 20 for the sub step and basically i'll just bake all dynamics so it will bake it so i can let's suppose i will start it from the 47 so go here and uh, change this to the 47 so something like this 179 you can see you can also select one cube and i can apply some shader so here just make it metallic and just down the roughness a bit and then i will select all the cube so here select objects and in last shift select this one and link material so all the boxes color has been changed now and they will look like they are made with metals so you can see do the same thing with the real world so where if you record your you know character motion you can place 3d object and make the interaction you know more easily so i'll do a couple of videos let me know if you want to learn more about this workflow so i'll try to use it in real world footage check out our video description i will mention the link and don't forget to check out our a link which is amazing so yeah thanks for watching this video thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and i will see you next time until then keep working keep smiling bye bye and take care